to critical and cynical. You decide which is which. So Comic Con is over, Brandon. It is. Yeah. It only lasted three days. Yeah. Wow. You want to talk about some of the stuff that went down there? Sure. Okay. Let's talk about Wonder Woman. Oh, let's talk about Wonder Woman. I Lady actually Carter think is amazing. By yeah, the way. I know. She... Well, first off, what's the first thing you notice? I think that DC has gone a long way toward not coloring their films to be brown. Because I like in two seconds into this trailer that we've all seen, um, that it's blue. You get blue ocean. Mm -hmm. Basically being like, hey, one, we're, we're not anywhere. We're, we're in a place somewhere that we don't know. And two, look at the color. Yeah, it's, they've listened to criticisms. I, well, the first thing that I think in that scene is like, Little Mermaid slash Splash, but I'm excited. I liked Wonder Woman. I know you haven't seen it. I liked Wonder Woman in Batman vs. Superman. I mean, she can still be a little more muscular. Mm -hmm. I don't really buy that she's an Amazon warrior that much. Gerald Doe was a sniper in the Israeli military in real life, so you don't, if you don't buy that she's a badass, oh, it's I did, your fault, Jeff. I, I don't. <laughs> don't hurt me, Doe. I didn't buy the appearance of an Amazon warrior, but when I see, saw her in Batman v Superman, and when I saw her in this trailer, I believe that she can kick my ass. Probably. I thought it was a really well done trailer compared to, well, we'll get into that, but I know I'm excited for I like Chris Pine, I liked Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. I can't really tell who the villain is. You said Ares. I think? Like there's this weird shot of this woman who I believe is wearing some kind of deformed mask. Yeah. They just randomly cut there, and they cut to this guy who looks like, who I think he has a missing army, looks like William Stryker from X-Men Origins. Yeah. There's also a little bit of humor in this that I like briefly, where it's like, you've never met any men, what about your father? And Jesus says, I was created by Zeus, and Chris Pine is just silent for a while, and he's like, neat. I think it's, um, they've really taken a lot of criticism DC has. Which is good. Yeah, we'll see if it actually shines through into the movie. I think that they made her look real badass. I like the costume even looks brighter. Yeah, it's what like, happens when you turn up your saturation. Yeah, the, how they even, I like how yeah. the, she's has the shield and then all the analysts. Yeah. She's got her wristbands in addition to her shield too. Oh, that's so little. Yeah. Um, she's got so her whip, she got her wristbands. Giara. He's got everything. I'm wondering if Linda Carter will make a cameo in the film. Probably not. I don't know. I don't but know if she's dead or not. No, she's alive. She's alive. She's alive. As of the time of As recording of the time. this video. Stay alive, Linda Carter. Stay alive. This could possibly break the curse of the female superhero live action movies. We'll consider no one has really tried in forever. Yeah. What was, I mean, the last one? was the last one Catwoman? Or was it Electra? It may have one of those. It may have been Electra. Ah. Uh, Woo! Yay. Anyway, that's Wonder Woman. I liked it. I'm excited for it. You, final verdict on Wonder Woman? Just, um, I liked the trailer. I have to see how they portray characters, because we already know this is the same universe as Superman. Right. And we don't, we, I don't know if I like the tone of the universe and where it's going. Maybe they can lighten up, but we'll see. Well, you've got your wish, because they released the trailer to Justice League, and while you can tell they listened to criticisms with making it a lighter tone, this trailer didn't sell us, because you go. So, what I've seen in this trailer is there is a lot of weird pacing, and seemingly weird cuts. You would usually cut on certain lines in a trailer, he's like, so you're fast, and then the scene keeps going. From, I think this is the more of a reason they really, really wanted to shove something hyped up for Comic Con, because it's, it's their not, big, it's their big Avengers style movie. It didn't really feel like a trailer. It's, that... It seemed like this. I don't think this movie's actually finished. So I think basically they cobbled what scenes they had together, and they threw it out there, and they're like, "Hey guys, they're, we're coming," but the scenes it, we didn't really. It's not really a trailer. It was more like scenes. almost entire scenes and entire jokes, which. It was mostly that whole flash scene would have been hilarious if you saw it in the theaters, but now I know the whole thing's coming. I also, they did leak that scene in a script outline, I remember, because I remember reading it. Also, like, to prove your point about how usually, for example, like with Flash, where he demonstrates the speed force, and then Bruce Wayne would say, so you're fast, like you said, it yeah. would normally cut in a trailer like that. Where 
on a trailer, usually a big epic one, you would want to have... There's an example where Bruce Wayne goes up to Arthur Curry, Aquaman, and says, I hear you can talk to fish. And normally in that kind of situation, on a trailer, you would have a really epic moment of him demonstrating his control over fish. Yeah, kind of like... Put him, it, put him in the thing riding a shark or something. But it's a, it just ends there. And which is the a trailer very, Weird place to end. I mean, the, what's the joke that, that he controls? Is it fish because Aquaman is badass in this, but it has a, 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 a power that people made fun of for years? Like because compared to, I know it's. Let's compare it to the Avengers trailer, where they did something similar at the very end, where Robert Downey Jr. says to Bruce Banner, "I'm a huge fan of your work, and I love how you turn into a giant green rage monster." They immediately briefly cut to Hulk raging Hulk's out. Just, Slamming because and then, seen Hulk in a then it cuts back to Mark Rivolo's like thanks and then ends there because it's a joke and it demonstrates yeah. the punchline. But no I actually I do like that they're list again they're listening to the criticisms and they're bringing in some joy and humor into this. It's just and I'm not, not talking about the film itself because the film hasn't come out. I just don't think we don't think constructively this was a well put together trailer. Which I has been not, not probably not their fault. They really probably wanted to like Marvel's gonna show something. They got Disney's got Star Wars and everybody. We gotta show something. We gotta show something big, and it can't just we gotta go two big things. So let's put together what we have. And, and they succeeded. They got people hyped. Yeah. I'm wait. I don't really consider this the first trailer. I consider this more footage. So I'm. It's, it's also back to get into their universe. It's, it's happy and it's fun and they're they're jokey joke. But also their established universe, I don't really like. And we all know Superman's coming back. Let's not. Yeah, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not kid ourselves. Because and is Superman gonna? Is he gonna come back and be like that? Is he gonna be the Superman from the comics? Is he gonna be ninety Superman? All of this, all of the sudden, is he gonna come back all of the sudden? Be like, hey, truth, justice, American way, or is he gonna come back and be mopey man? Is he gonna be ninety Superman with the giant long hair and the black costume? Yeah, he's gonna come. He's gonna come back and be mopey man. Well, that's super. Also, who's who's in the box? I don't know. What's in the box? What's in the box? I don't know. I didn't recognize that. Maybe it has something to do with Etrigan or Morgan Le Fay because it was like medieval times. I don't know. Yeah, they buried a box. I don't think that was the focus, which is go back to the whole trailer thing. Yeah. I'm still getting used to Cyborg being in the Justice League because I'm always a New 52. Of What's now? It's called Rebirth now, my friend. Because we haven't see seen any of him in this trailer, too. We see about three shots. Yeah, because you see him, which is interesting. He's at without his yeah. armor, so yeah, they don't care about. They don't care about Cyborg. DC doesn't care about Cyborg. No, they don't care about Green Lantern. They don't want to put Green Lantern in there. I don't care. Just have the whole thing about that. Um, <laughs> but Justice League, I'm I'm hopeful for it because they. I can tell DC is now trying to listen to criticisms, but. Yeah, the just marketing was, team is. It just wasn't a, that well put together of a trailer. You made the comparison that basically Bruce Wayne is trying, they want him to be like Nick Fury in this. Yeah. Which to be fair, you have to get this team together in a certain way. But I mean, if you're not going to do the Avengers movie by movie by movie, set it up, let's just, let's go. Yeah. I mean, and they are, let's, it's just let's go, throw them all together. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, come on, you got that build up in that amazing scene in ba oh, yeah, you see Batman v Superman. Batman you just see the security foot the where footage where Lex Luthor has the icons all planned out. Yeah, don't forget, guys, Lex Luthor created all the icons yeah. for the DC Universe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Alright, so Kong Apocalypse Now, I'm sorry, Kong of Skull Island. Because I want to just first say King Kong 1933 is my favorite film of all time. I love that movie, and it made me interested in filmmaking. And usually, when it comes to Kong films, you get really good Kongs, or you get really bad Kongs. There's not really an in-between mm -hmm. I come across, because usually I don't like the 70s one. I know, I really don't. I, I really, I like the 2005 remake. I don't like it more than the original, but I like it because Peter Jackson really understands Kong, in my opinion, it was a little too much. maybe a little too much. I will, I will. Three hours. I will admit four. to that. I will, I will concede to that. Actually, Peter Jackson doesn't understand Kong. Only Andy Serkis understands. <laughs> well, he is Kong, my friend. Is Andy Serkis Kong in this movie? Probably not. Probably had. If they mo capped it, he's on set. This trailer came out, and I don't know the music like the American Godzilla remake is. Good. I think it's weird that it's like, let's 
emulate Planet of the Apes? It be, it's very Planet of the Apes, like, oh! Yeah. It has the same notes. It's weird. Because he's an ape. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the cinematography is kind of almost emulating Apocalypse Now, because it takes place in Vietnam, if you didn't know. Vietnam. Sam Jackson is in this, yeah. and John Goodman. Let's talk about John the Goodman. elephant in the room, or more likely the Godzilla in the room. This movie is the start of building a universe because Kong, King, Godzilla and King Kong are planned to fight and this is our King Kong. This is our King Kong versus Godzilla remake. Which basically. is why he's way bigger. Yeah, because, yeah, you're right, King Kong is now the size of Godzilla. He can't, he can't climb up the Empire State He can just grab the Empire State building now. No, I don't think they're going to go off the island in this movie considering it's not King Kong. It's called Skull Island. Yeah. It's very, you're right, it's very much like a, it looks like a war apocalypse now kind of movie. Yeah, even the, the color scheme and the helicopter sounds you hear. Sam I can tell you what though, Sam Jackson is not going to survive. Neither will John Goodman. Probably not. John Goodman is basically the Carl Denham equivalent, but you like to just call him... Jack Black. Yeah, basically. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Brandon is like under the impression, just likes to call Carl Denham Jack Black from now on. I mean, when you have such an iconic actor known for doing something else, and then you put him in a series movie. I don't know, Jack Black is such a character actor, though, but... And then he's playing... Carl Denham. Yeah. It didn't really... I saw you good. I thought you did good. Tom Edelson is in this movie as the lead person who doesn't say a word in this movie, but... Just Br like Aaron Taylor Johnson did in the trailers. And Brie Larson is also in this movie, and you want... You will have something to say about Brie Larson in this. So... She hasn't really been super positive. She hasn't said details, anything. Details, details. So in the MTV Movie Awards, they showed some behind-the-scenes thing, and she said a lot of things about it. She's like, I had a really positive experience. The cast was good. She didn't say anything super positive about the movie itself. She said, like, it's a fun movie to work on. Yay! Yay. So that's not really comforting. Yeah. I mean, Samuel Jackson will die. The last shot in the trailer, if you notice... If you, you have to really pause it, because I didn't notice the first time. When you finally see Kong's face, or more outline in the face, it's so dark. There's two people. Um, it's obviously Samuel L. Jackson standing over Tom Hiddleston with a knife. Spoilers. So... So I guess Sam Jackson, it goes bad. Sam Jackson is the bad, big bad army general man we've seen eight million times. Yeah. Although Sam Jackson, I'm curious to see how he does it, because he's like John Goodman, he's like... Tell us where we are, or I'll blow your damn head off. Oh, Big Bad Army General. We haven't seen this. I bet they'll fuck an environmental message, too. Probably. Wouldn't be the first time they put it in a 70s column. Yeah. Jeff Bridges. Yeah. Oil. That's the reason they went to Skull Island in that movie, just to get oil. Well, this time, I, I don't, don't know. think they're going to get off. I, I don't, don't think they're going anywhere. I think it's Skull Island. Do you movie. think... Kong is gonna go after Brie Larson because how can he? I mean, even in King Kong vs. Godzilla, which was ridiculous, he held the little Japanese woman, which was weird because sometimes she's very tiny. She's and it's a like big, she's I don't know. Can, she, can he see her? Are gonna be like... Boop. I don't know. I have no idea. That's... That was... Uh, I don't know if they're gonna... If she's blonde... Yeah, but you know... I don't think she'll play the same role as the damsel in distress. I'm pretty sure they're done with that sort of stuff. I, I, w I wouldn't put it past them. She'll be like, we're done with that stuff. She'll be a strong woman in this. I Meaning she'll probably, her and Tom Hilster will be the only ones to survive. Everyone's going to die. Yeah, pretty much. I am on the fence about it. I have two great Kong movies already, and I don't really think I need another one. To be quite honest, I was this isn't not a Kong movie. I, this is the Godzilla movie. I know. I, actually, that's a, a review that I feel like I need to redo because as I, I did watch it again recently, and yeah, it happened. <laughs> I, I think there are serious flaws with the American Godzilla that I overlooked. Yeah, I mean Matthew Broderick is almost unforgivable. Yeah, totally. Final thoughts, we had a really good trailer that we're looking forward to, and two trailers we're really on the fence about. Yeah. Is there one particular you're looking forward to? I don't know if we've seen enough of either of the things we've seen, um, any of the things we've seen. I think this Comic-Con may have been a little lacking. How about we just say that we're excited for a Lego Batman? Yeah! It's just Batman. Yep. So... 
that was another episode of Critical and Cynical. We're going to try and keep this show going. I am... And you are... And... We're done. See, take care. No, you're not going to re-record it. We're going to keep it. It's in the I said take care. Yeah, are you happy? I said take no, care. I went, back, I, went back, no, I went back to record and say take care. Take care. Take care. Yeah, cut that in. Have fun.